in three, two, one. <laughs> that was, I think that was you. <laughs> you did it so fast. Did that wait? Surface Laptop 3, number three. I talked about this thing from the moment that it was announced. You guys know I'm into laptops. I use them. I love them. I like them. Microsoft Windows connection synergy incredibly thin and light for what it is this one is 3.4 pounds it's also got a 3 by 2 display which is unusual in the laptop segment it's metallic at this point this looks very promising and this could very well replace my thinkpad relationship hmm. permanently temporary i don't know so this one is the ryzen 7 it's important to note the 15 inch model of the Surface Laptop 3 has a chip, an AMD chip, in collaboration with Microsoft specifically for this unit. The 13.5 inch Surface Book 3, which is the size they've been making for all the previous versions, not Surface Book, Surface Laptop. Surface Book is another product completely. So anyway, the 13.5 inch is still on Intel. This one goes to AMD. You can get it with the Ryzen 7 or 5. The price tag goes up substantially if you want the extra horsepower, but that 7 chip also comes with an improvement in the graphics performance storage, SSD, 512 GB, 16 gigs of RAM. If this is around 2,000 bucks. The other one, the entry level, starts at around 1,200 bucks. So this probably won't be the most popular model. This one is in the platinum metal color. The lower spec version that I'm also gonna show you is in the black. <clears throat> The Surface product line, it's a cool name. The idea that all of these things are just surfaces for whatever it is that you want to do on them. Crazy, impossibly thin, very thin. Uh, it's making a MacBook Pro look fat. Well, mm. making a MacBook Pro look a bit fat. I've tried out many different devices with the matte black finish and it tends to pick up fingerprints. This one, on the other hand, it always stays looking clean. Our power brick, this one is magnetic, tube style connector with the magnetic component over here. So it fits into this slot. If you have it hanging off the desk, you're working, you're in the workplace environment as you would be. Someone walks by, this thing comes out so easily that your laptop's not flying off the table. How sweet it is. Yes. Extra USB port. So go ahead and charge your phone while you're at it. One power brick to rule them all. Ooh, okay. It's a nice flat gray to it. Jack, it's a nice flat gray. Large size trackpad, so simple to the point. It's a slab, a crazy slim thin slab. You have no fingerprint scanner, but of course Microsoft's been trying to push people towards the face unlock, so this does have the Windows Hello face unlock available to you. This one is 2496 by 1664 resolution. That's 201 PPI. It's a multi-touch display as it would be considering it's a Surface product so you can reach up and touch it. Since they are still making the 13.5 inch version of this laptop, that one is gonna come with the Alcantara potential on the deck. The 15 inch, on the other hand, the aluminum metallic deck, I presume you have the bigger body, a little more rigidity. Can you say that word rigidity? <clears throat> rigidity. Not bad. Okay, around the device, you have typical USB connector, type C, which yes, you can charge via type C, a headphone jack, and then just your proprietary magnetic charge port on the other side. All right, now, I also have the black one here, so let's do a quick comparison. I could see this one being popular because the whole matte black thing. You can see what I'm talking about. You just get some smudges and things like that. It's inevitable. You have the matte black four jack, kabam. There it is. About as simple as can be, platinum metal represented as well. Let's go ahead and continue on the black one. We saw enough of this one now. And so I cracked this open and you're gonna catch your first glance here. You saw, did you see that Jack with the windows? Hello, you just go like that. It sees me, bang, I'm in. And so if you have this option available to you, you're probably using it over the fingerprint scanner. It's a seamless kind of experience when you use it. There's your three by two display. Do we have a knit update? Well, you're the knit guy, so. Yeah, it's 380 nits. 380 nits, not the brightest screen we've had here. One of the things I like about the implementation here 
is just how symmetrical the bezel is on the outside of the display. From the top to the sides, there's slightly more of a chin, but the top and the sides, it's just identical. And that's a pleasing, that's a pleasing look. Symmetry. Symmetry is pleasing. Mm -hmm. I think the next generation MacBook is gonna also be symmetrical. We'll see. Many intuitions today flying around. Mm -hmm. You have any? Uh, a few. You'll share them later? Uh, yeah. Okay. When the moon is in retrograde and Virgo approaches Leo. We can't go into retrograde. Uh, whatever. Astronomy on the third Tuesday of the fourth moon. <laughs> I think this is going to be a thing you want to put on your lap. I'll tell you why. You get the higher edge with the three by two. The impossible thinness here. You're not feeling anything. You got a 15 inch laptop, you don't even feel it. You got the MacBook Pro, it's cooking you right now. Oh yeah. You're like a fried egg sandwich. Yup. The keyboard, you know it's gotta be about the keyboard. Couple of brown foxes. So like a lot of the laptop here, it is a MacBook vibe to it, chiclet style. I think that's gonna be satisfactory for a lot of people. You got the backlight. It is what it needs to be. Trackpad is feeling satisfying as well. Fairly large. Yes, we can live. Speaker time. Uh, we have some uh, new information. It has popped up now on DxO Mark. These are the guys. They're trying to turn photo performance into a number. Well, they got their number now. They're sending the audio through the keyboard. This is a compromise. This is a decision. It's a design decision. And you can hear for yourself. Uh, 112 is what it scored. It I would say it's it it's actually it it, surprising clarity of... considering where it's coming through. It's like, I think people will be satisfied with that. I think it's in that satisfactory range. The screen resolution, it's not the most. The brightness, it's not the most. The keyboard, it's not the most travel. The speakers, it's not the loudest. You know, it's like a soup. On their own, you just got ingredients, that's all you got. A, a cut of beef that would be less desirable. I said, what are we gonna do with this beef? Yeah. You throw it in a stew. In the stew, you spice it a little. You come with the onions. Yeah. You come with the carrots. Together, greater than the sum of the parts. That's fine. This is a beautiful thing. I'm gonna use this laptop. And I'm gonna see if I miss the ThinkPad or if Microsoft is in it to win it. This episode is sponsored by Vessi. They make shoes with a proprietary knit upper material called Dymatex, which is the first technology of its kind. The outer layer is hydrophobic, causing the water to beat off. Now the mid is a waterproof membrane with nanopores small enough to keep water molecules out, but large enough to let moisture escape from the inside. And the inner layer is designed for comfort, morphing to the shape of your foot. And you can wear them in any condition, rain, snow, mud, or sand. If you're interested in these shoes, check out the link down below.